If God did not create sickness and suffering, why are people sick today? This is a very good question. What is actually the origin of sickness? We read that in the first two chapters of the Bible, all was well and man had no faults. All misery had begun in the third chapter of the Bible, the fall. Adam and Eve were placed by God in the Garden of Eden. God created beautiful trees and delicious fruit. Adam had everything he needed. Yet there was one thing Adam was not allowed. Genesis 2 verse 16 says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. When Adam would eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, death and misery would come into the world. First, this speaks of spiritual death. If Adam eats of the fruit, he can no longer walk with God. Second, this speaks of the fact that man will be judged. In the Bible, this is called the second death. But this also speaks of physical death and the dying process of man's body. We read that the devil, in the form of a serpent, tempted Eve to eat of the fruit. The devil did this by proclaiming lies. Then Eve also gave some to her husband, Adam. Genesis 3 verse 6 says, She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Immediately after Adam and Eve ate of the fruit, they had sinned against God. They took something that was not meant for them. Because of this disobedience, many problems arose in God, His creation, and in man. For example, we read that Adam and Eve became ashamed. They were fearful of God, and the curse came into creation. While Adam and Eve first lived under the perfect blessing of God, they now lived under the curse of sin. Part of this curse involved Adam, Eve, and the animals becoming mortal. Genesis 3 verse 19 says, By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It was not God his will that man should eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, nor was it God's will that man should have to deal with toil and death. God wanted man to live healthy forever without toil. God wanted to bless man, but sin caused man to come under the curse, and as a result man would die both spiritually and physically. Romans 5 verse 12 says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. And 1 Corinthians 15 verse 56 says, The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. What was the origin of sickness, death, and misery? This was the fall of Adam and Eve. Sickness was not conceived or made by God. Sickness came about through man's disobedience. This is very important to know. It was never God's will or plan to make people sick. It was the devil's plan to deceive people. And it was man's disobedience that brought sickness into the world.